Have you ever opened up Outlook Shock to see hundreds of unread emails, each one screaming for attention and leaving you wondering whether you should have gone on that business trip? Or maybe you are just frozen staring at that one email not knowing how to craft the perfect reply without spending an eternity on it. But don't worry because Microsoft's smart assistant called Copilot has you covered, turning your email nightmares into a walk in the park. All right, so let me show you the first of the three time-saving features Make sure to stay until the end because each feature will save you increasingly more time. Starting off with feature number one, let the AI craft an email reply for you right within Outlook. And the context of the email doesn't matter whether you want to ask your colleague whether or not they, you know, ate your sandwich or you're just replying to an angry customer support email. Let me show you how you use it. So first of all, open up Outlook and click on new email. And then you're looking at this blank screen, not knowing what to do. Locate the icon that looks like this. And it is here on the left side of the screen. Then you click on that and click on draft with Copilot. Draft with Copilot is going to ask you what you want to convey in your email. We're going to email Linda asking her why she took that sandwich, whether it was a mistake or maybe she did it on purpose. Before we click on generate, there's actually a few options that you can adjust. When you click on the email slider on the lower left corner, you can decide on the length and the tone of the email. Now we just want it to be direct and let's make it a little bit short. So once we're happy with that, we can hit generate and see what Copilot comes back with. And Copilot wrote the following email. I noticed that my sandwich was missing from the company fridge and I believe that you may have taken it. I understand that it may have been an honest mistake and I wanted to reach out and ask you about it. Could you let me know if this was the case or if there is something else that I should be aware of? And if you like the reply, you can keep it. And if you don't like it, you can regenerate or adjust. So I'm just going to write that we want to greet Linda and also say a proper bye at the end of the email. And then we click generate. And as you can see, now the email starts off with hello Linda. And at the end it says sincerely Pascal. So now this email is complete, let's keep it and then just send it to Linda. But it might be even more useful in a case like this. We have gotten an angry email from a customer and we want to diffuse the situation and not make it any worse. And the angry email from the customer stated that the product arrived way too late. In this case, customer Hank is unsatisfied with the service. Let's ask Copilot to write a proper reply. So again, click on Copilot. Draft with Copilot, we say reply to the email, mention that the team was on holiday and that the shipping times were adjusted as mentioned in the confirmation email. Even though nothing went wrong, we still offer some discount. All right, so let's click on the options and choose a correct tone for this email as well as a correct length. So medium is fine, but in this case, we would like it to be a little bit more neutral, not casual, and then just hit generate. All right, so now the email states, thank you for your email sharing the feedback. We are sorry to hear that you're unhappy with the service and didn't receive the order on time. And we say that we value the customer and we would like to provide the best service as possible. And as a gesture of goodwill, we are offering the 5% discount. So that's it. I like this email because first of all, it's very polite. Second of all, it states that actually nothing went wrong on the company end. And third of all, we are rewarding the loyal customer with some discount code. So let's click on keep it and use this email to make our customer happy. And like you see, we saved so much time. We created those emails in just less than a few minutes. All right, so let's go on to the next use case because you're probably thinking, hey, if I'm asking AI to create my emails every single time, will I not end up getting worse at writing those emails myself? And that's why Microsoft created this feature that is called the Copilot Coach. And that coach will actually help you to craft better emails and giving you tips along the way. Let me show you how to use it. Right, so let's look at this email that is addressed to a boss and a colleague is going to ask for a raise because he has been working on a project for certain times and performing well. Well, as you can see, this email feels a little bit like uncertain. And let's see what Coaching by Copilot has to say about this email. First, locate the Copilot icon on the screen and click on Coaching by Copilot. When we click on Coaching by Copilot, it is going to analyze the email, reviewing the tone, the clarity, and how the email comes across. It is done analyzing the email. On the tone, it says the email is polite and respectful, but also very hesitant and unsure. You have done a good job and you deserve to ask for a raise with confidence. Thanks, Copilot. And it says, these are the suggestions that I offer. Replace I have been working with, with I have worked. 
and could you please consider thinking about with I would like to request or I'm interested in. And in reader sentiment, it basically states that we should highlight our value. The email does not mention any specific achievements or contributions that you have made to the company. You want to make your boss feel that you are a valuable and indispensable employee who deserves a raise. I agree, if you want to get a raise, you should show your value to the boss, right? Unfortunately, this feature only coaches you on how you write better emails and doesn't have a quick apply to email option. And this is like having your own personal email coach sitting right there next to you, making sure that your email conveys your message, helping you to get better and faster at it. But now it is time for the most time-saving feature in my opinion, email summaries. Every time when I get back from a business trip or a well-deserved holiday, I end up getting hundreds of emails from colleagues and clients tagging me along in their humongous email thread. And ignoring those threads is often not an option, but you know, going through all of them is also not something that I'm so excited about on the first day back from a trip. But Microsoft Copilot has got my back because like a real executive assistant, it has read my email and catches me up on the highlights and action points. So let's look at this email chain that I have with Secret Lab. And if you don't know Secret Lab, they're this amazing company that makes gaming chairs and gaming desks. And I have been emailing back and forth with the support because there was something wrong with the monitor arm. Well, it was probably my fault, but let's not dive into the details. When we open up this email, we're going to look for the Copilot icon or find the text summarize on the screen. So let's click on Copilot and click on summarize. And now Copilot will go through the email thread and will come back with the action points or the highlights of the emails. Copilot came back with a summary and it says that I reported an issue with one of the monitor arms, which is true. And it also mentions the highlights, like Secret Lab asking me for a video to showcase what was actually going wrong. And the amazing feature here is that it's also referencing the original emails in which those things were said. So let's click on this one, for example, an email opens up in which we can see the request about the video. This is really amazing and saves so much time. So my advice is to stop doing everything manually and take that well-deserved break and hire Microsoft Copilot as your executive assistant. And then you have more time on your hands that you can use, you know, to do more important things like watching some of my other videos or, you know, have some fun. All right, friend, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and let me know in the comments below if you're going to use Copilot for Outlook or if you're still going to do it the original way. And if you want to see more ways to save time using artificial intelligence, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Hey friend, YouTube thinks that you like to see this video next, so go and give it a try. And you probably will like it because YouTube knows what they're doing, so go and try it.